Hi everyone, Rob here again from the Department of Education at Cape Breton University. In this video, I'm going to take a look at how I am going to adapt my 12-week existing Moodle course content for my course over to the new six-week delivery format that we're going to be using for the new online Bachelor of Education Accelerated Program. Now, the uh, IT team at CBU, they're going to set up a blank course shell for you. It's going to have some placeholder uh, placeholders in it, and it's going to be set up for a uh, standard 12-week or 13-week delivery format. Not to worry. I'm going to show you how to take your existing uh, content, which I have here, my old uh, Moodle content for my uh, te leveraging tech course for the BED program. And this is a 12-week program. I'm going to show you how to copy that over and how to adapt that based on the pre-planning that you did when you revised your syllabus for a six-week program. So the first thing that I want to do is just get rid of some of this uh, content in here that I don't need before I copy stuff over. I'm going to turn on editing here in Moodle, and I am simply going to delete all of this stuff that's with the template that I don't want because I have all of this stuff in my existing course. If you're building from scratch, obviously you probably wanna leave some of this stuff in to help guide you as you develop your new course. And as I said in my previous video, I'm gonna share some resources with you that you may find helpful as you start uh, working through designing and developing your course from scratch, if that is the scenario you find yourself in. So yes, I want to delete all of that. So now I have my course top uh, area, the the uh, the front matter for the course. I have my 12 blank weeks in here, and I'm going to delete this placeholder material as well. I don't need that. I want a completely empty shell, so there's no duplicate stuff in here when I copy things over. The next thing I want to do is figure out where my old content is in Moodle. Uh, it might be on one of a couple of different servers. We've had a new server since 2022, since the fall of 2022. In my case, my old course content's on that server, so that's what I'm gonna work with. Your content, uh, depending on the last time you taught it, it might be on the uh, previous server, and I have videos that show how to export the content from that server and copy it over into this server. I will share a link to those videos for you uh, if you're in that scenario, but otherwise the rest of the steps are going to be the same. So I have my fall to, uh, 2022 copy of the course. I have my blank course here. Yes, I know that this is a different course. This is the uh, empty shell that I have to work with because I'm not uh, teaching leveraging tech for learning in the winter term. And I don't need this blank shell for uh, for the upcoming term. Uh, this is a, an old one that I have that I didn't need to use. So I can use this as a bit of a playground right now for example purposes. So we'll pretend that this is my 2024 winter leveraging tech for learning shell. I want to go to the settings cogwheel up here. And I want to go to my import and find my previous course that I want to import in. So it's showing me a bunch here, uh, and I'm going back to 2023 fall. I'm not seeing it here, so I'm just gonna put in EDUC 4108. I'll search for previous instances of that course. Ah, here we go. I've got my 2022 fall. That's the one I wanna copy in. And I'm just going to hit continue. And I'm going to copy everything over here. So I'll jump to the final step. And this takes a couple of moments for the system to copy everything over. It all depends on how much content that you have in here. So working nice and quickly here for me today. I've got my content imported in, so I can hit continue, wait for this to load. I've now got a copy of the 12 week version of my course, so now I can adapt that for, uh, for the six weeks.